Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey with Beyond Labs. Today I'm going to do a video to uh, show you how to do a distillation in the organic virtual lab. Um, the experiment preset that I'm going to use to demo this is uh, 8-2 under the aromatic substitution. It's the benzene nitration 2. So in this experiment, the um, worksheet asks you to make uh, one methyl, two nitro uh, benzene. So in order to do that, I'll need to take methyl benzene, it's one of my reactants, and place it in my flask. Um, I can add ether as solvent. Bring my flask out here to the stir plate. The reagent I need to add is nitric acid. Now that I've added my reagents, bring over my heater and my condenser, connect lab gas, nitrogen. and then begin the reaction. I'm going to advance the time a little bit. You can see I advanced the 10 minutes um, when we begin to form some of our products. And so in this reaction specifically, you're getting a different substitution on the benzene ring of the nitro group. And so for the 2-nitro, you can see here, uh, it substitutes the nitro at the ortho position, and you also get the 4-nitro substitution at the para uh, position. And I'm gonna continue my reaction until it's complete, and you will actually also get the product that has nitro groups at both spots, the ortho and the para. I'll advance the time. Okay, so now my methyl benzene has been consumed, and you can see on the whiteboard that I have one methyl 2,4-dinitrobenzene, which, as I said, is the di-substituted form. So now um, you need to separate these compounds from each other. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your extraction with the separatory funnel. Bring the set funnel over, and it has um, your nitric acid still in there, diethyl ether, and your three products. So then you'll bring over um, something aqueous. In this case, I'm using water to do the extraction. Um, and you can see the water, the aqueous layer has your acid in it and the water, and your organic layer has everything else in it. So what you can do here is you can grab your aqueous layer and go ahead and discard it because it doesn't have anything that you need. Um, and then you'll have the organic layer remaining. You can take, click on the organic layer to create a flask and drag it right here to your cork ring. Um, and then drag your separatory funnel back to its spot. Now, to do the distillation, you'll drag your organic layer back here onto the stir plate and put it in place. And then you'll come back over here and grab your distillation apparatus, drag it to your flask, and it will go in place. Now, the distillation apparatus has a thermometer here. If you um, hover your mouse over this thermometer, you'll see a temperature, which will change as, a, as I'll show you as we begin the distillation. It will increase um, with, with time as time passes. This back here is your collection flask, so you're... Um, your products or your different compounds that come off at different temperatures will collect back here based on their boiling points, and that's how we're going to end up doing our separation. And then this right here, obviously, is our regular distillation flask, which right now has all three products in it. So I'm going to attach nitrogen and begin stirring and heating. So I'll advance the time just a minute or two. Come back here to check the temperature. You can see it's 123 and a half degrees Celsius. We still haven't 
seen anything here in our collection flask. So we'll advance the time just a couple more minutes, as long as needed, until we see something collect. Okay. So, 222 Celsius. So we have something here in our collection flask. We have the uh, two nitrobenzene product, and let's see. There may still some of be some of it here in the flask, and there is. There's still some in the main flask. We have to continue until we can drive it all off. Okay. So now we have all of our two nitro here all separated, and we have our other two remaining uh, here still in the flask. And so that's how you'd go about doing a separation. In this very specific activity, what you'll have to do, because you, as you can see that the, these two, the four nitro and the two four dinitro are still together in the flask as a solid, um, you need to monitor the reaction so that it goes far enough that you get the 2-nitro and the 4-nitro, but not all the way to completion so you get the dye substituted product. And in that case, you'll just have the 2-nitro and the 4-nitro, and you'll be, able to you'll be able to separate them completely um, here, and you'll end up with the 4-nitro remaining in this flask and the 2-nitro here in the collection flask. So depending on which one you want to keep, so say in this case I want, to, I want the 2-nitro, and just grab the collection flask and bring it right here. And you can see that that's all it has in there. And so then you can go ahead and do your characterization. Uh, for example, you could do a proton NMR, this liquid, and it will pull up your proton NMR for your pure product. Um, you can also grab what remains in your distillation flask. And you can see as you, the first thing you do when you click on it is it's actually going to select the distillation apparatus. You can go ahead and put that back. And then now we have our collection flask that contains um, the combined product. And then we have our other flask, with the collection flask, where we pulled off what was left and remaining. Um, and so there you go. That's how you do a distillation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and go to beyondlabs.com for the latest virtual labs.